Welcome back to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy here with two-time or seven-time, as he likes to say, NBA champion Michael Thompson. Did I get it right this time? You got it right this time. All right. Okay, so speaking of championships with Clay last year, if he hadn't gotten hurt, do you think the Raptors still would have won the championship? Don't shortchange the, the Warriors. Not only if Clay hadn't gotten hurt, but Kevin uh, Durant was hurt. Yes. DeMarcus Cousins was hurt. Yes. He wasn't 100%. And I respect the Raptors. They did what they had to do. But yeah, if the Warriors were at full strength with Durant, Clay, and, and Cousins, I really believe in my heart they would have swept the Raptors. And that's not to disrespect wow. the Raptors. They were that swept. good. I think so. I think they were that good. We got, we got sort of like a glimpse of what the Warriors would have looked like. With, remember the third, the first quarter in game five? Uh -huh. You remember how the Warriors came out and didn't miss a shot? Yep. And sort of, yep. I was in the building that night, Christine, in Toronto, and the place was in, was in stunned silence. They could not believe how good the Warriors looked, how good they were playing that mm -hmm. first quarter before Kevin Durant went down with his Achilles injury. He came out and knocked down his first three threes. So he gave the, the Raptors fans and basketball fans just a glimpse of what the Warriors would have looked like if they were 100%. In 2015, though, Clay and the Warriors beat LeBron and the Cavs when they had their injuries right. with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love. And to be fair, you are right to point that out because what goes around comes around. And I acknowledge that the Warriors mainly won that championship because Kyrie and Kevin Love didn't play. Now, yeah. the Warriors might have still won, but without Kevin Durant, uh, Kevin Love and, and Kyrie, then, you know, the, I don't think the, the Cavs didn't have a chance, no. That's the unfortunate part of sports. Yep, is the, the best team doesn't always win. It happened to me. It happened to us. 1989, uh, we went in to play the, the Detroit Pistons. Mm -hmm. We were 11-0 and 0 going into the finals, Christine. We had not lost a playoff game. 11-0. We went to the finals against the Pistons, who were a great team. And who knows? They might have beaten us. They might have, and they could have. They were that good. But in that series, we lost Byron Scott and Magic Johnson to hamstring injuries. Come on. You think we're going to beat the Pistons without those two guys? So it happened yeah. to us. And it's to, to this day, it still frustrates me that we, I would have had eight rings <laughs> because I believe we would have won that series if we had yeah. Magic and Byron at 100%. People say, well, you don't know that, Michael. How can you say that? Okay, let's turn it around. Let's say the Lakers are at full strength. And all of a sudden, the Pistons don't have Isaiah Thomas and Joe Dumars. You think they would have beat us? Of course not. So because of that experience, then, do you have conversations with Clay? I imagine he was very frustrated. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's the worst uh, to lose a championship away. To get beat when you're 100%, you can accept it. Sure. You weren't good enough. We had our chance. We just got beat. Yeah. But when you lose a championship because you know you were injured, that's very frustrating. Does he listen to you? Yeah, I think so. Now, at first, and I've seen this through a lot of examples throughout the years of his career, I'll give him some advice or I'll say something that I've seen and he'll sort of like slough it off, like, uh, like he pretend, but then he'll say something in an interview <laughs> <laughs> that I said a few months back and he'll repeat it and say, oh, so he was listening to me. He doesn't want you to know that <laughs> exactly. he's listening, but right. he's listening. And the thing is, I don't overstep my bounds. The man's an eight-year veteran. He's won yeah. three championships. He's been an all-star five times. So what could I tell him? You know, so I just leave it alone. I let Steve Kerr and his teammates uh, give him advice. I just stay out of the way. Yeah, he's lucky he's got Steve Kerr as a coach. Great coach, man. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame as a coach, and uh, he's not done winning championships. Yeah, you don't think so? I don't think so, no. I think the Warriors, uh, they have great ownership, very aggressive ownership, and Joe Lacob and the ownership group are going to do whatever it takes to keep the Warriors on top. Okay, let's go back to the Lakers, because LeBron's here. Mm -hmm. What do you think it will take? I mean, I feel like L.A. fans have embraced LeBron. Oh, yeah. But for him to be really, really embraced, what as a, as a Laker legend because you do have guys like kobe and magic can lebron ever be on that level i think if he delivers a championship this year or next year while anthony davis is here i think he can be now mm -hmm. he's older so he's not going to be here to try to get four or five championships but i think he just needs to get one he's already respected as one of the five greatest yeah. players ever nobody could ever dispute that but i think to get on kobe and shaq and all the kareem all the Laker greats who have won championships here jerry west Will Chamberlain, I think if he can win one, he'll be, Laker fans will say, okay, he's one of those guys. It's a really cool time for basketball, especially in LA right now. You've got the Clippers and Lakers both just kind of stacked. Is it the most exciting time for you, you think, ever in LA basketball? No question about it. Nothing compares to this because you have two teams in LA who can win the championship. Yeah. And it wouldn't shock me, or I would kind of be shocked if in the Western Conference Finals, it's not the Clippers and the Lakers going, no at, way. going at each other, Christine. Just, both these teams just got to stay healthy. They are what? both of these teams are stacked. The Clippers have two of the best players in the game and combinations in the game, and George and Kawhi. 
And the Lakers have, I think, the best combination in the game in LeBron and Anthony Davis. So the rest, if everybody can stay healthy, I'll say it right now, the Lakers and Clippers, Western Conference Finals. Now, listen, I respect Utah. I respect Denver. Houston is going to be a different team with Russell Westbrook. Portland's going to be tough as usual. But I think if everybody stays healthy, God, God forbid it, anybody gets hurt, everybody's healthy, the Lakers, Clippers, in the West Finals. And I think Warriors might have something to say about it, too, if Clay gets back. Check out our YouTube channel, Fair Game, on FS1 to catch all the best highlights of our show. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.